Hey loves, it's your girl April. So you guys already know what time it is. It is a new wig video. This is from HJ Weave Beauty Hair. And this is their 130% natural virgin wave or natural wave in its virgin hair. And this is a lace front and it does have the combs in the front and then an nape a comb as well and an adjustable strap. So as I said, it is just a lace front so you're not able to part it anywhere. But we're gonna just situate this. I did wash this unit the night prior and I didn't tweeze anything in it. So the hairline is a little bit thicker than most, so it's not a pre-plucked hairline, as you guys can see right here, but we're gonna work around that. The waves in it were really pretty, but I did end up brushing them out just because I needed to style the hair. So I'm gonna take my water bottle here, and this does have some conditioner in it, and I'm just going to wet the hair so that way I can get these curls should pop in again. Now, let me tell you guys, it is 18 inches in length, it is 130% density, and and it is virgin hair so that means you can fry it dye it and bleach it if you want to now do you see how wavy that hair is so it did come back super wavy but we're just going to add to that and we're going to use some of this herbal essence style styling mousse which i really do like you can pick this right up at walmart that's where i got it from so just make sure you guys get some um the color is natural like i stated and it's a really affordable inexpensive unit like if you want something that is affordable if you're on a budget or you just like to save money or you're like me it's like listen i'm not about to spend all this money on some hair i can work with this and i can make it work then you definitely have to check them out i think their wigs start at like 125 or 50 bucks this one is fairly cheap i'll post the direct link to it below it's definitely a lot over like 200 dollars. it's nowhere near that but it's fairly fairly inexpensive and it's definitely affordable the only thing that you would have to do is kind of like tweak it you you know even if you do pay a lot for a wig you still have to customize it and transform it into yours so I'm going to take some of these baby hairs and we're just going to pull them forward because being that the hair is not pre-plucked we're going to make ourselves you know somewhat of a nice little hairline we don't want too much baby hairs because a little is all you need you know a little does go a long way um, so I'm just going to take my rat tail comb I love these combs they're really easy to manipulate the hair and one of my favorite pair of scissors which are small ones and I'm going to cut these baby hairs a little bit as you guys seen, I don't have them going over the entire per perimeter of my forehead, just a little bit. And to get them started and trained, I'm going to use some of my Herbal Essence Styling Mousse just to lay them down because you don't really want to gel up everything and you do need it wet to style it. So at first I wasn't like a huge fan of the wig just because of the hairline, but you know what, like I said, it is really fairly affordable. It's super cheap and if you can kind of customize it to make your own, then why spend a lot? So I did use one of my favorite glues or <laughs> glues gels which is the gorilla snot gel i love this stuff i have been using the white bottle a lot lately because the yellow one is just a little bit too gooey for me and i'm just going to kind of like brush into the hairline with this i mean it doesn't look that great right now like trust me I hopefully it will look best for you guys in the end like you know something close to it but i'm just going to style it up a little bit with the mousse this is how i get my hair to style in the front and then get the baby hairs to blend in just a little bit more natural with the actual unit itself i don't like to use a lot of gel and i daggone sure do not like to lay my wig down by using a head scarf because the head scarf just takes away from the wig once you lay those head scarves on your wig just to lay your hairs down trust and believe girlfriends that wig has smashed down all of that that scarf has smashed down all of your wig and then you have to go back and kind of like tweak it so I definitely don't do that I'll just put some mousse and some you know gel and I'll kind of like hairspray it a little bit but then I'll definitely take my blow dryer and blow dry it in place that defeats the whole purpose of the scarf I just can't do the scarf thing but we just gonna tweak as much as we, we can we don't want to do too much baby hairs but we don't want to do too little bit now if you're wondering did the hair shed well when I did wash it um only I noticed a few bit of hairs came out with it. I did wash it overnight and it did cry dry, excuse me, very um, quickly. It was a nice unit um, when I first got it without washing it. But you know, when you wash it, you do get better, just like a better appearance and you get better curls. So I'm going to tweeze out just a little bit on camera. I never tweeze these while they're on my head, but we're going to try something new. You know, we want to look like we should pop in, looking all cute and stuff. I'm just saying, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying I'm trying to be slaying. But anyway, like I was saying, they're really affordable, like for real. I would definitely, definitely like check them out just because they're super affordable. 
I really want to tell you guys that this wig was like under $160 and it probably definitely was for 18 inches. Now some people don't like 130% density but for me it's great depending on the curl or the pattern or the hair texture. So for this one to be a deep kind of like loose natural curly it is a lot of density. So to camouflage my part I did use some of my um, cream foundation foundation stick and now I'm going to use my pressed powder by Too Faced and of course still there is some tweaking to do to it. I mean so hey like for a really affordable unit you can definitely just definitely work with it like as you guys seen the waves are popping in this unit right here i'm going to use one of my favorite other hairsprays which is pumping up now this and the aussie are two of my favorites i definitely used to use this one prior to um aussie but being at the beauty supply store is all the way like five miles i don't be feeling like driving that far you guys so i just use aussie which i have came to really really love but this pump it up gets extra hard you can definitely lay your wig down with this and it'll definitely stay but I'm just going to use it for just styling a little bit and I'm just going to take my rat tail comb. Now in case you guys don't know and you probably don't, on the end of the tip of my rat tail comb is a little bit of gel. I was dipping it into my gel just to allow those baby hairs to lay down. And now that we've got them situated, it's time to go ahead and camouflage even the front of my hairline with some of that pressed powder. You want to make sure that you are doing it all the way around. You don't want to just do it on the part, you guys. Like, come on, we want to blend it in. We want to make it look good wherever. Now, as you guys see, this wig did come out really pretty versus the beginning. And for the price, I'm saying, like, you can definitely be slaying. For the price, I'm saying, you could definitely be slaying. I think that's going to be the title of this video because I kind of like it. It's kind of catchy, right? For the price, I'm saying, you're definitely going to be slaying. For the price I'm paying, you're definitely going to be slaying. I don't know, but either way, you can definitely check out HJ Weave Beauty Hair. They have some really pop-in, shit pop in wigs for the low, low price. And they also do have a weave in here as well. But if you're on a budget, you just want to save some money and you still want to look cute, then definitely check them out. Definitely check this one out here. I will post all of the direct links below for you guys and even some coupon codes if I have on some. Like, I don't remember if I do or don't, but I think I do. But anyway, I love you guys. Make sure you share this video with everyone. Stay diva and divalicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs this video up, share with those people that you really don't like as well, and let them know how much you love me as much as I love you guys. So peace out, and I'll see you guys on the other side. Bye!